saw Cirrus on the uh, thing. I think they're out here. I think they're out here on the flight line. Hey, what's up, Aviation Nation? Dave here, and I am cutting film for the uh, part two of Sun and Fun 2022. Uh, got a lot of stuff to go through here. Uh, it's amazing the power of YouTube. Um, you know, we connected with Chris Palmer at the AOPA tent and uh, got the opportunity to meet Chris. I had never met him before. Really enjoy his channel, the Angle of Attack channel. And uh, also ran into uh, Josh Flowers, Aviation 101. All 290,000 subscribers that he has. And you could tell uh, he was at the four flight booth at one o'clock and there was just a line, an incredible line to see him. You'll see it here in the video. Um, even people wanting to introduce their babies. The baby's like two years old. Anyway, again, I mean, that's the power of uh, celebrity on YouTube. Uh, we're working our way there, almost to that 1,000 member mark. Uh, do us a favor, push us over the edge, hit that subscribe button, and hit that like button too. That'll make the video available to other people and uh, hopefully they'll find it useful and use it. So here's day two of Sun and Fun. It's, um, it's a day packed full of adventure and air shows and uh, vendor tents and all kinds of fun stuff. So hope you enjoy it. We did. And uh, who knows, maybe, uh, maybe we'll see you at Oshkosh. We're gonna try to make that trip in the brand new Cirrus G6. Enjoy the show. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a discovery flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. There's the Sun and Fun flight line. Looking good today. Still got some coming. Coming back in. Wing walkers. Yeah. I was wearing a two pound uh, David Clark headset when I was in the back of one of these. <laughs> the guy did a 6G loop. And, uh, really so it was a 12 pound headset. Was, it was easily, yeah. Too. Looking at the pan sheets, and we're over in the Warbird section right now. I don't know if you can hear me because this guy, this announcer, has not taken a breath for about 20 minutes. I figured I'd just go ahead and start anyway. But boy, they shine this up really good, man. This sat over in the Sanford ramp for a little while. Looked like it had a gear problem. I don't know. Not, not certain. But uh, she's pretty, isn't she? Panchito. You guys get your gear fixed? How was it the southeast ramp when this thing was sitting there for about a month? What was the deal? Some of the, uh, the support arms that one piece on the linkage that, that raises and lowers the gear yeah. had one of them break. Oh, really? Like one of these here? Well, the, the internal. Yeah. Yeah. Jack it up and pull everything out and change it and inspect it. Wow. One of the gear linkages broke. There it was. Yeah. Yeah. 
Everything has a mil spec on it, even the even the seat. <laughs> there you go, Bert. Want to learn to fly the B twenty five? You can. Although I think I'd rather learn to fly this. F-51 or P-51? What's the difference? Oh, no, this is the F. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yes, just can set up the smaller than the F-51. I don't know. We can see over the wing here, damn Canadians buying all the cool stuff at our air shows. But if we look, this is the F-51, the epitome of aviation back in, you know, I don't know, World War II? It's Canadian. It's the F-51, eh? Eh? F-51, eh? But look at the tail boom behind it. It tells you how far aviation has come in so many years. B-1 bomber sitting right behind it. Well, you can fit this whole airplane right under the wing of that. You need to drop this airplane in a dive bomb for your enemy. <laughs> right off the wing pylon. That's what I'm talking about. B-1B. Look at this thing. Just massive. This is just a huge airplane. Yes. Woo. She is big. I'm going to take a lot of pictures as we come around here. But look at that. Four engines on the back. Dave's already got his face stuffed in under one of them. He's checking to see if it's male or female. I don't know. All right. Stay tuned. We're going to be looking at this thing pretty in depth. You don't realize how big they are until you walk up to them. Look at the back of this engine with the B-1 bomber. You think this thing's capable of mock? I don't know. Let's ask it if it has afterburner. Look at the linkage on that. It's amazing. Walking right down underneath the engines. What we got going on in here? That looks like an exhaust of some sort from between the engines. This might be a bleed. I don't know. <laughs> really enjoying this one. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, yeah, swept wing up there. Dude, look at how much wing gets swept. I know, man, the entire thing. It's just crazy. Yeah. That is some kind of crazy engineering right there. At speed, this entire wing moves backward. And it's just a huge, huge wing. Oh, oh, oh. Still a flat spot entire. <laughs> B1 bomber. Woo! B1B, baby. She's a beast. Look how big this thing is. Where did you get that shirt? <laughs> in Hawaii. It, it has, has a Cirrus on it. On it. Yeah, I've never seen Cirrus. one of those with the Cirrus the on it. Yeah. That's so cool. Thanks. Oh my goodness. 
You got chased. Yeah, we don't like. I'm sorry. This morning when I put this on, I went, yeah. wait, there's a Cirrus. Yeah. Where is it here? Yeah, it's right here. They must have been looking at your butt and then found it. That's what it is. <laughs> Ooh, look, look at that tall man. Oh, man. <laughs> Was this always booted? Probably. Sometimes the Thunderbirds go on. The flight line. She's a hopping. Big old tanker there. Would that be a seven six seven? I mean, they wouldn't buy a A three thirty, would they? It would all be American made, right? Oh my god, it's Vernon Van Cleef. <laughs> hey everybody, Dave here, and uh, the stars are out during the day today. <laughs> there he is, the one and only Josh Flowers. That. Aviation 101, fantastic channel. I'm really enjoying the Western stuff. Yes. I guess you're done with Kingman. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. There's a little bit of footage left in the backlog that I still haven't edited yet, but it's it's on the okay. way. Yeah. We made our run for the canyon. I, I bought my plane, it was in John Wayne, and flew it all the way back here, okay. uh, SR-22, and the day we flew the canyon, we were literally at the cloud level really? of the Southern Rock. Oh, so, man. I mean, we still got views, but it's nothing like with you guys. Yeah. Know. So, a clear day, it's hard to beat. Sometimes you just, you know, sometimes yeah. you just get lucky. Right. We got unlucky. Yep, that's right. It's but, always uh, clear skies out there. I know, I know. Love, loving that stuff. <laughs> Are you here in Florida more, or...? Um, so for the last month, I've been here in Florida working on a big project that is filmed, but none of it's being posted yet. So okay. We're, okay. Yeah, we're, we've got a lot of stuff in the backlog. I've been here for a while. So the, so the shout out to him, that was from last year? Yes. The ATC shout out? Yes. Okay. That was from last year. I, I had to think about it for a while, but I decided to post it. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you never want to be outdone by the guy you're riding with, right? No, you can't be. You can't not in your own plane. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's hey, right. really enjoying it a lot. I appreciate the support. Uh, appreciate you giving me some coattails today. Absolutely. And uh, keep up the good work. I appreciate the support. Thanks so much. Thanks, buddy. Good to meet you. Take care. Thanks yeah. for that. I just got pissed off again. How's the show going so far? Quiet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I can I can tell how it's going. It's going pretty well. It's quiet. L look at the level in your beer cup. Oh, I'm doing. I'm, I must be happier than you. <laughs> just a little. Better. Not much. <laughs> Where'd they go? Come back. Oh, they're there, way over there. Right. Oh, they're gonna come through for the for the historic flight.
So what do you think of that, Hearn? They have, they uh, the seafood or the wacko? The wacko. I just be good for lunch. You want to do a soft field, nice mom and pop restaurant on the end of it? Yeah. Absolutely. You got to get about nothing like Nothing like coming to a $100 hamburger with a wacko. <laughs> the white scarf. Right. The, right. White scarf. the leather the leather helmet. The leather helmet. Especially the, the goggles. Yeah. 